It's week five of my ULM Dynasty here on College Football 25. In the last video, Alabama blew us out in week two and then UAB did beat us in overtime after a bad interception by General Booty in week three. But then ULM would pick up one win against Troy in a close game, tying our win record from season one. If you're new here, I play on Heisman difficulty with Mr. Hurricane and Matt 10 sliders to have realistic gameplay, and I played all of season one for a video. We only won two games, but in week five of year two, we've already matched that win total, and I think we have a good chance to make a conference championship. A big reason for that is because of the play of senior wide receiver Nana Davis. He's gained national recognition with the Na Player of the Week award in this Akron game. He's only 5'8", 160, but so far when he's a focal point, I feel like we've been in the best position to win games this season. He got shut out in Tuscaloosa, but he has bounced back since then. No touchdowns since week one, so I think I'm going to switch some things around with the playbook in the next few games. Louisiana has won the last two matchups against ULM. Last year was because of bad tackling and not being able to score on offense. It was like 40-9. to nine. But wanting to bring in better tacklers, George Ball has been the main target so far. We swayed him in the last episode so that we can hard sell him. And he'll be visiting in this episode in game number two versus South Alabama. So be sure to stick around for that. It'll be the full game and week five will be versus Louisiana. It's just going to be highlights. Then next episode will be JMU and Sarah Hughes, an ACAC opponent who is ranked when I schedule them, but it's been an unfortunate season for them so far. The Raging Cajuns very well could be 3-0 right now, but they lost a close one to Wyoming, but then they clobbered Eastern Michigan. It seems like their roster is similarly rated as ours. One really good lineman, a decent running back in QB, and if you watched episode one, you'll remember, or you'll probably remember, that they stole a couple of players from us. Roderick Deere, normal dev, and pretty tight skill cap, so I'm happy that we have Rubio instead. And they also robbed me of the kicker I've been going after all season, but his accuracy is not going to improve much, so I'm not too upset about it. This game is away, but next we'll go home and unveil some new uniforms that came out a couple of weeks ago in an update. Now let's get into some highlights against Louisiana. This is the 60th meeting between these two, and ULM is going to start on offense. They couldn't score a touchdown a year ago. If they win this week, they will surpass their record, their record from a year ago which I'm trying really hard to do. Second down and 10 here, looking for Nana Davis. He's gonna get a first down and go out of bounds. Booty over 50 yards already. Now screen pass to the right for Bennett Galloway, the running back, and he's gonna shed a tackle and get some good blocks down the field. Able to get inside on that screen play, follow his blockers, and get free for the touchdown. ULM will get on the board first. Go up seven to zero. And let's get a look at this play again. Booty almost got sacked. And he was running into Zach Moore right there, but able to get free and shed a tackle and a good block down the field. But third down and 12 here, and he's gonna be sacked. Jaden Hamlin will end their drive. So now, General Booty looking for Davis on the left side again. He's going to outrun that defender and get a first down. It's third and goal from the two. Running the jet sweep with Tyler Griffin. He'll waltz into the end zone. Untouched. And now up by two scores. ULM is looking good so far. A quick stop on, off, on defense and two quick scores. Just one minute to go here in the first. Taylor McDonald, McDougal's going to take a shot, but broken up by Emmanuel Oconquo, a freshman. And General Booty will hand this one off to Galloway. Good blocking. He made a good cutout lift again, a couple extra yards. But it's fourth and goal now, so they'll bring out the kicker. It's the walk on Welsh, and his kick is good. Looked like it might curve a little bit to the left, but able to sneak in. Third down and six for McDougal. He'll step up and get the first down with his legs. And they'll run some hurry up offense, but it's third down and nine. McDougal, clean pocket, taking a shot for the end zone, but this will be intercepted by the senior safety. Fawn Troy's got some blocks and he'll take this one out the right side. McDougal giving chase, but he's not gonna catch him. The safety has enough speed to take it to the end zone. A 95 yard pick six. 
And how about ULM so far in this one? Up 24 to nothing so far. And it is on Heisman difficulty. Just want to show that. Don't want any comments saying I'm playing on freaking freshman. Now McDougal to hand this one off. It's Draylen Washington. Third down and six for McDougal. Got a little bit of pressure, but finds a man on the left side. They'll move the chains. Now we're going to jump a little bit into the end zone here for McDougal. He'll get a touchdown. Caught by Robert Williams. And now skipping forward into the third quarter. They are in the red zone again. And Draylen Washington will get the score and cut into that lead a little bit. So now down by 13. McDougal in the red zone once more. He'll hunt it off to Washington, who's going to get the touchdown. So now all of a sudden a close game here. One minute to go in the fourth now. Up by nine. This will be intercepted by Josh McAfee. He will seal this one with the nail in the coffin. It looked like it was going to be close for a minute there, but ULM was able to push ahead out in the fourth quarter. And actually, I said the last play was the nail in the coffin, but it will be this play that is the actual nail in the coffin. Bennett Galloway wanted a garbage time touchdown to pad the stats a little bit. That play did put him over 100 yards rushing. And that score will make it look worse than it was. But I feel like our team played great in this one. Much improved from a year ago. And ULM is now 3-2. Ben Galloway sure looked impressive. Especially running behind an average at best O-line. Booty played pretty well, no turnovers, and completed 70% of his passes. Griffin and Galloway caught the two touchdowns, but Nine Davis, 168 yards and 14 catches. A whole lot of volume in this one. On defense, Oconqua, the freshman, led in tackles, and fellow freshman Josh McAfee and a handful of players got TFLs. Bunch of guys with two. And then Dylan Howell and Jaden Hamlin both had two sacks apiece, and Edwards had one. And of course, the safeties both got an interception to help get the win. Von Troy with the pick six. ULM is currently sitting atop of the Sun Belt as they are the only team with two wins. Old Dominion and Southern Miss are right behind us. They've had good starts to their seasons. And uh, South Alabama is currently sixth. They've lost a close run in their opener to Southern Miss, but went on to beat Auburn and Stanford, who's currently ranked 20th in the nation. So this is why they're getting the focus game this episode. It should be a real tough opponent. And then Oregon, Alabama, Ohio State, LSU, and Penn State are the top five teams. Not really any surprises there. Georgia was number four, but they lost to Texas, so they fell. But now we're going to look at South Alabama's roster a bit. They had Gio Lopez last season, but they're going to be using Bishop Davenport. He's got a cannon and some ability to go with it, so I can see why they went with him this season. He's played well so far for them, 11 touchdowns and 1,500 yards. Hopefully we can shut him down today because we have our first recruit visiting. George Ball, the three-star gym field general with good tackling, will be in attendance today. We're in a recruiting battle for him, so hopefully this visit can swing the tides. And here's a good look at the new uniforms. I think they look sick. Gonna definitely be using these a few times a year for sure. If you've made it this far, you should hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second and helps me out a ton. South Alabama will start the day on offense. From the 20 yard line, Kentrell Bullock will line up in the backfield. He gets this handoff and will be brought down by a host of ULM defenders right there. Now, second down and six, Davenport will step up in the pocket and gets brought down by Dylan Howell. Defensive end brings him down for a loss of three, so now it's third down and nine for South Alabama. Gonna need a good pickup right here. Davenport's got a good pocket for a second, but this time he's going to break a tackle and shed another one spinning away. Good play right there for Keyshawn Woodyard. So moving the chains at, now at the 46-yard line. They're going to hand this one off to Winston Malone. He's a good little shifty back, getting a gain of six right there. Now in the backfield is P.J. Martin. He'll get this carry, make it third down in inches at the 37. They'll hand it off to Martin again. And he'll pick up the first down. Martin stays in the backfield on this play. Now running some play action for him. They hit the tight end over the middle, wide open. It's Trent Thomas moving the chains. 
They've used three different running backs so far. And now they run the jet sweep for Keyshawn Woodyard who fights into the end zone. The cornerback Jiren Esther was the only one that met him before the line. But he's a little guy, he couldn't keep him out of the end zone. So out comes General Booty in this offense. From the 25, they'll start and hand this one off to Bennett Galloway on first down. Gain of three on that one, so it's second down and seven now. General Booty motioning, Davis right side. This is a jet sweep for him, he'll get the first down. Big gain right there through the air technically, so it's a gain of 18. Looking left side for Davis on this one too, close to the first down marker. This will be a gain of nine. 28 yards on two catches. Now handing this one off to Galloway on second down. First down and 10 from the 37. Looking over the middle for Griffin. He's got this one complete, taking a big hit and hanging on to it though. Now first down and 10 from the 23. Looking underneath for Davis. He'll get a good little catch right there for six. Now handing this one off to Galloway on second down and four. And he'll speed out to the right. Good first down pickup for the running back right there. Able to escape the D lineman. First down and 10 now. Taking a shot for the end zone. Here's Destin Hill. The transfer from Florida State. How about this throw from General Booty and an even better catch from Destin Hill. Able to create some separation diving for it. And the cornerback just couldn't make a play on it. It was such a good pass from Booty. Let's take a look at it right here. This is a good angle. Look at that spiral. And now tying the game with this kick. Welsh's kick is good. So it is tied with four minutes to go. Second down and 10. Devonport looking for his back. He'll be brought down in the backfield. Loss of two, Front Troy brought him down. So now third down and 12. Davenport taking a shot with that 95 throw power and this pass is dropped. Micah Woods couldn't hang on to it. He had a step on the defender. So now Nana Davis will get this kick. He hesitates for a second. They cuts this one out left and runs out of bounds. First down and 10 for Booty. He'll hand this one to Galloway. Not a big gain there, only a gain of two. Two tight end formation here. And Booty will drop back really far. Throw this one away at the last second. Had pressure coming right in his face. Pause. Third down and eight. Screen pass out, let for Galloway. He's got some good blocks, no one's out there. And he'll move the chains all the way up to the 24 yard line. First down and 10, handing this one off to Galloway. He makes a cut back inside. What could have been a loss turned into a gain of three. Now looking for Galloway in the passing game. And he won't get the first down, he'll get six. Chris Wallace Jr. will bring him down. So Will shall come back out and kick this one. Kick is good. ULM go up 10 to seven. And Bishop Davenport will come back out onto the field. Hoping for his receivers to hang on to the ball this drive. He'll hand this one off on first down. Kentrell Bullock not getting anything. Clock winding down. They'll snap the ball though. Davenport looking over the middle and there's Bullock. Wide open. Lots of running after the catch there. And he'll get up to midfield. And that's how the first quarter will end. ULM up by three. But South Alabama's driving right now. First down and 10, Bullock will get the handoff and get a gain of five. That's his longest rush today. Only nine yards so far. Now Davenport looking for his tight end. Trent Thomas can't hold on to it. Davenport six yards away from 100 in this one. He's gonna scramble that left. No, he's gonna throw it deep on this play and his receiver catches it. What in the world? I thought Devonport was gonna scramble right there. And then all of a sudden he turns and tosses it down the opposite side of the field. Purdue able to hang on to it. It was a great catch. Bobby Purdue. Now second down and eight for ULM. They'll run the jet sweep with Davis. He makes a man miss, cuts back inside. 
And that'll make General Booty go up to 100 yards in this one. This will be a carry and a first down for Bennett Galloway. Wanting to run the ball with him again on first down. He'll get a short gain of three. RPO, he'll get this carry for a third straight time. And Fortenberry was all over it. South Alabama all over that play. It's third down and 13 now. But Booty's going to convert. That's Quad Harrison over the middle hanging on through the contact. Now handing it off to Galloway, trying to follow his blockers. Good ball carrier vision right there. So it's second down and two after a gain of eight. Galloway going out right, but he's going to go out left for Wiley this time. And I like him a lot. He's pretty sneaky when he comes in. First down and ten. Ooh, dangerous pass right there from Booty. Could have been intercepted, but Nana Davis able to get a hand on it. He did drop it, though. Now on second down, they'll hand it off to Galloway, the star running back. Only 36 yards so far on 10 carries. Four yards to go. Galloway, no, Booty's going to scramble out right. And he's not got no one over there to throw to. So now out comes the walk on Welsh. She'll kick this field goal. And it's still. Down, they're still down in this one, 13 to 14. Devonport's got a nice pass over the middle. So first down and 10, running some, a screen pass here. And this is going to be intercepted. Josh McAfee snagged this one out the air. And he's got 97 speed, so he's able to outrun a couple of people and get some yards. It looked like Devonport was looking for Trent Thomas. He was open for a second. It looked like uh, Josh McAfee kind of baited him into the throw, though. So Booty will hand this one off to Galloway. Making a couple of moves inside. He'll get a gain of five. Now, clean pocket. Booty will get this one to Galloway through the air. And they went five wide on that play. Running some play action on this one. And, ooh, almost intercepted by the lineman. Almost a big man interception. So second down and 10, running more play action. Lots of pressure, but they'll get this complete to Quad Harrison. He'll move the chains. Might want to go away from the play action, though. Lots of pressure when they run those plays. And Galloway will shed one tackle in the backfield, but then quickly swarmed, loss of four. And now on the drag route, looking for Davis, but Booty overthrows it. He's, he's kind of short, so. Looks like there's a flag on this one, but Destin Hill's open regardless. They'll get the touchdown, but this one could be coming back, and it will. They're going to call holding on the offense. That's the center, Carter Miller, the senior. We don't need that happening, especially when we get a touchdown. And now taking a shot for Destin Hill once more. But on fourth and 24, we have to kick a field goal now. And this one will not be good. It's wide right. Very inaccurate. He shanked it. So from the 25, they'll run a screen right here. And this will be blown up. Pulling, bringing him down in the backfield. Loss of one. They'll hand it off to Bullock. And he's sworn by a couple of defenders. Vaughn Troy and Edwards bring him down. Third down and 12. Going to Bullock here. Not wanting to pass it. They're going to try to run some clock, but ULM will use a timeout. Ooh, voice crack. First down and 10 for Booty at the 39. Got good field position. Taking a shot here on first down for Destin Hill, but not able to hold on to it. Another shot going to be taken here for the six foot five Tyler Griffin. He got a hand on it, but swatted away by Ricky Fletcher. Now, looking for Nana Davis on the left side. He's open, wide open, actually. And he'll get out of bounds, stop the clock. First down and 10. Booty dropping back really far, running out to his left now to throw it away. Heavy pressure, kept drifting back. Got to stay still, can't be drifting back that far. But he'll get this one to Galloway. Oh, my goodness, he fought into the end zone. I thought we were about to be down at the four-yard line. But get it. Bennett Galloway is something else. I'm telling you, he's like vanilla Alvin Kamara. Now looking right side, Trent Thomas will get this one out of bounds. 
Still a minute and 13 to go. Got Thomas again on this one. He'll get the first down. That'll stop the clock momentarily. And now Davenport getting this one under. No, this will be dropped. Michael Woods with another drop. Second down and 10. He'll hit Keyshawn Woodyard. Been kind of quiet since that first drive. Third down and four now. Davenport, look at right side. This is intercepted by Godsey Jr. And he's going to go all the way. I think I called him Jiren Esther earlier. But there's a flag on the play. And this is going to be on ULM too. Wiping off another touchdown from the board. Tyler Rubio, the freshman, will hit Davenport. He'll throw him down to the ground. The refs aren't going to have any of that. So take another touchdown off. Davenport will get this one out left for Woodyard. Actually, he drops it. So a few drops today. Davenport is not having a good time. But now he is good pass and conversion. They're in the red zone now. At the 12-yard line, Davenport running out to his left, and he'll get Trent Thomas in the end zone. Almost sacked on that one. He's lucky. And they'll go up by one point yet again. 21 to 20 with 30 seconds to go. They're going to take a shot here for Destin Hill, who's got a completion. Or General Booty has the completion for Destin Hill. Sorry. That was a good throw. Found the man open in the sweet spot on the defense. Now he has his man open. That's Galloway. He'll spin a couple of defenders out and get a couple extra. Now second down and one. They'll fake the handoff. Taking a shot for the end zone and swatted away. Broken up by Ricky Fletcher. ULM has one timeout left. Looking underneath, they find Davis. They'll move the chains and use the last timeout. Brought Welsh a little bit closer. His kick is up and good. He's CC8 overall, and he's got 74 kick power. But the walk-on freshman is pretty automatic for 45 yards. All right, going into halftime, ULM is up by two points. It's been a bit, a bit flip-floppy game here, back and forth. We're going to see who comes out on top here in the second half. More passing yards and rushing yards for ULM today. But Davenport has a monster arm on him. The air distance on that pass was crazy. I wish we had next-gen stats to see how many yards that travel through the air. ULM will get the ball coming out of halftime. And they'll start by handing it off to Galloway. He gets stripped up on that one. Could have had a few more yards, but it's only a gain of one. Now looking over the middle for Harrison. Quad Harrison will move the chains. From the 36 now, Booty looking left side for Davis. Thought Davis was about to make a spectacular catch. Booty looking for Harrison again on this play. He was fighting for that first down. They won't give it to him. It's third down in inches. Running some RPO for Galloway here, and he will be stopped for a loss. It's fourth down and one. And out comes Gullabo, the punter. And he's going to get smacked. And there's a flag on the field. ULM will get this flag on their side now. Roughing the kicker on the defense. Chris Wallace Jr. will give ULM a free first down. Now looking for Galloway right here on the Texas route. He breaks free. Scampers into the end zone untouched using that 92 speed. Vanilla Camara doing it again right here on this play. Extending the lead for ULM. It's been a close one all day and we're able to go up by two possessions now. And look at that bad angle by the defender. And Galloway was able to read it and find the open space. On first down, they only get a gain of one. Bullock is in the backfield. Davenport in the two tight end set. They'll fake it to Bullock. And this is going to be oh, almost intercepted again by McAfee. He drops it. So it's third down and nine. Now looking left side. And oh my goodness, he dropped another one. But it'll be a punt. 
And Booty will get this ball back. Oh, yeah, all right. So we get away with one right there. I might have been upset if that was intercepted after two dropped interceptions. Booty will do a jet sweep for Nana Davis, using his speed to get outside from the lineman and get a gain of two. Now third down and eight. Booty got a lot of pressure. See, running the play action just keeps causing so much pressure, but we keep doing it. We keep running the ball to set up the play action, but it's just causing so much pressure. Trent Thomas wide open. Just running a streak right up the middle. Handing it off to Bullock now. He'll get a gain of four. Staying in the backfield. Defense spreading out a bit here. Looking for Bullock on a screen route. No, they're going to get this one to Woods. He finally hangs on to the ball and gets them into the red zone. Inside the 10. Davenport's going to keep this one. Run up the middle and slide down. He didn't want to fight for it. He saw the big hit coming. Second down and goal. And this is going to be deflected by the tight end. I don't think he was the target on that play. And now Chris Rogers is going to bring down Bullock in the backfield. Fourth and goal, and South Alabama's kick is good. Hamilton Deboyan, this kick is good. First down and 10, handed it off to Galloway now. He'll get a gain of six. So Booty's gonna drop back now. Wide open on the left side is Destin Hill. He'll race out of bounds. Pushed out by Fortenberry. And now Galloway on first down, getting a good gain of nine. Second down and one for Galloway, and this is going to be a flag on the play, but Galloway racing up the sidelines just in case it's on the defense, and it doesn't look like it will be. That'll be on Zach Moore, the right guard. So now we're going to run some RPO. Galloway is out, and Hunter Smith is in, but this is going to be Griffin on the right side on the bubble uh, RPO. Big gain through the air now. We're in the red zone at the five. Running a sweep out left for Galloway. He's gonna be brought down. And another flag on the field. Holding on the offense. And this time it's on Devon Smith, the left tackle. Running it his way this time. And lots of pressure coming from that side. Jordan Scruggs will bring down Galloway. Now, Booty scanning the field and finds Griffin over the middle. Booty now over 400 yards. Running some more RPO right here. And Galloway will shed the tackle, but goes out of bounds. Not able to get the touchdown. But they'll bring out Welsh, and he'll kick yet another field goal. So he's been reliable for the most part. Only one miss today. And the OLM will increase their lead once more by nine. 36 seconds to go here in the third. They'll hand it off to Bullock. Only a gain of two brought down. Very inefficient day for Bullock today. And a sack on this play. Billy Pullen will bring him down. And that'll make it third down and 12. We'll go into the fourth quarter. And General Booty spread the ball around a lot in this one so far. With just one quarter to go. Davenport's down by nine. He's going to take a deep shot here, and he's going to get it. Esther couldn't make a play on it. Now in the red zone at the 11. Man coming in motion here. It's going to be a keeper for Davenport. He'll be brought down by a host of ULM defenders, and they'll run the hurry up. And Billy Pullen will bring him down again. Another sack for the senior. So it's third down and 11. They can still get a first down. They're, they're at the 13 yard line. Davenport, clean pocket, taking a shot for the end zone and what a beauty of a pass. He hit his man wide open. And now only down by two. ULM will get this ball back with a two point lead. Handing it off to Galloway, he'll get a gain of seven outside on the left. So second down and three. 
Bodie's got pressure in his face. Looking for Tyler Griffin right there. And he'll drop us. But I, I'm not sure why I cut out the third down conversion. But now looking for Nana Davis on first down. He'll get a gain of nine. Yeah, I'm not sure why I cut out the conversion. Okay. Now running some RPO. Destin Hill's open on the left side. He's going to make a man miss using the spin move. Good athleticism right there. I really like Dustin Hill. Glad we got him a transfer to us. So far, he's over 100 yards today on five catches. Could have had more and more touchdowns, but there's been so many flags. And there's another one. False start on the offense. Handing this one off to Galloway. He's met immediately. So it's third down and nine now. Five wide. Booty's got a little bit of time here. He's going to sling this one right side and be intercepted. This is Fortenberry, the strong safety. He's going to juke out Destin Hill and pick up a couple of blocks, and he's gone. No one's going to stop him, and he is going to get a 90-yard pick six. Amarion Fortenberry, the strong safety. Booty was getting pressured, and he has a really good throw on the run. Tried to get it to his man. But Fortenberry wasn't having any of it. So now down by five. They'll find Destin Hill underneath. He gets a big gain through the air. Flipping fields now. We're at the 46. I'm bringing Davis in motion. We'll run it with Galloway to his side. He'll cut it back up inside. Gain of six on that play. RPO finding Destin Hill on the bubble. He had a good block for a second. Brought down by Chris Wallace. From the 33, they'll bring Dustin Hill in motion here. And they'll look left side for Davis. Booty re near, nearing 500 yards. And he'll cross that marker on this play. And Davis will get over 100 as well. Second down and one, handing it off to Galloway. He'll get the first down. Offense looking really, really good on this drive. Running a jet sweep for Davis. Picking up a block from Ben Schwell. Ben Schwell. I'm still not quite sure how to say his name. But Nana Davis will put us back out in front. We need to go for two if we want to go up by three. So we run some play action. Out right side trying to hit Galloway. And it'll be intercepted. But there is a flag, so they'll say pass interference. But ULM won't get it regardless. So we're still up by one, though. Davenport faking this one to the running back and tries to scramble on an RPO. If he threw that late, that would have been a penalty. But he gets sacked anyway, so a loss of two. Over the middle, this will be caught. Bullock broke the first tackle, but then quickly swarmed and brought down. Third down and 10. Davenport taking a shot for his receiver. This will be caught for Micah Woods. Had a few drops earlier, but he's looking good now. Looking left side on this swing route for Bullock, and he's going to be stopped quickly for a loss of one. Now clean pocket for Davenport. He's going to step up and slide down after a game of four. Still negative rushing yards today because of the sacks. I don't really like that feature in college. But he's going to step up here on this play. He's got positive yards now. He's going to slide down before taking contact. Wise idea. McAfee was going to lay the wood. Pause. Now Davenport is going to take a shot. And ooh, inter almost intercepted by McAfee. Now third down and 10. Got to convert right here. Or it's four down territory. But it doesn't matter. Davenport's going to pick it up with his legs. Moving the chains. One minute and ten seconds to go now. From the 19. Davenport's trying to step up in the pocket again. But he's done that one too many times. His linemen get all in his way and we sack him. Only a loss of one but a sack's a sack. Second down and 11. Looking for the end zone and broken up by Godsey Jr. Big play by the senior quarterback. Now third down and 11. They're going to hand this one off to Bullock. Playing it safe. Trying to get a few more yards for their kicker. 
now lined up right on the end side of the hash and this is gonna doink off the sidebar Hamilton to Boyan missed it and they don't have enough timeouts no one can believe it they clawed their way back in this one but it was all for nothing what a heartbreaker for South Alabama fans but ULMs can celebrate their team doubled their win total from year one and have a good win streak going now and a lot to look forward to as we approach the end of the season and draw closer to a bowl game we're only two games off from that goal Booty had an excellent day, 500 yards, four touchdowns, and three players went over 100 yards. Ben Galloway, two touchdowns, and he had 70 yards rushing as well. Nana Davis has had 26 catches in this video today. Oh my goodness. The defense flashed at times. We let up more pass yards than I'd like and struggled to get off the field on third down, but we are a bit young in the secondary. Pullen had a good day, three TFLs, two sacks. McAfee had the only interception. And that's two in two weeks. I like that from him and Billy Pullen will get a player of the week. And Ben Galloway will also get player of the week awards in the Sun Belt. Been very impressed with Galloway this year. Now let's see what George Ball thought about his visit. All right, it looks like it went well for us, but Arkansas State has a visit scheduled for next week. So if we can get this battle done before he goes there, that'd be fantastic. And since the sway worked, I can now hard sell him. And that may get him to commit. We'll see for sure in the next video. For some reason, I haven't been receiving updates after I advanced the week, so I have to come here to see the changes. Finally got championship contender out of the Ds. Next video should be an easier time. Our opponents have struggled so far. James Madison did win against us last year, however. They scored 59 points on us, and their starting running back, Ayo Adai, was drafted in the seventh round, so they have kind of regressed a bit. They've only beaten an FCS team and now face us on a three game win streak. Only a few players rated in the 80s for them. Their QB is Joshua Douglas, a 72 overall freshman. He's a bit mobile, so we'll have to game plan for that. After JMU, we'll see Sarah Hughes, an ACC team that should give us a good challenge. Their team is much more balanced and speedy compared to, other, to us and other teams that are in the Sun Belt. But if we keep up the success we're having in the conference, we'll probably have a good chance for a conference championship. We're 3-0 in Sun Belt play. We'll try to improve that to 4-0 to start next episode. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. And the last video hit 20 likes, so if we can hit that again, I'll post the next episode on Friday. If not, it'll likely be out on Monday. But that's it for this one. See y'all next time.